hello guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today is the first day of classes for sophomore year so the first thing i'm gonna do is pick out an outfit i just like to do that before i start like my skincare and my overall get ready with me process i want to wear jeans today so this is the first pair of pants i'm gonna wear well, this is the pair of pants I'm gonna wear for today. I wanted to wear a graphic tee, but I wear those all the time and I'm kind of getting tired of them. Yeah, I'm gonna wear this. And then the shoes that I'm gonna wear, they're kind of beat up, but I need to get a new pair of Air Force Ones because my Air Force Ones that I got last school year are completely demolished. Don't even know how that happened. It's not that they're like super creased or anything or like dirty, the soul is coming apart. All right, guys, so now I'm in the bathroom. Having braids in during the school year is such a lifesaver because you don't have to worry about what am I gonna do to my hair today or waking up early in the morning to do your hair because it's already done, duh. This lighting sucks, what the hell? Okay, but then that sucks too. Okay, whatever, no, not whatever. Okay, that, that's better. So as I get ready, I'm going to basically just tell you guys what my day looks like. The first thing that I have to do today is go to my ABD class. I'm taking my first ABD class this quarter, and I'm very excited because that's a great way to meet Black people. That class is from 11.20 to 12.50, and that's the class that I said is going to be online for today because the professor has COVID from one o'clock to 2.30. I have this um, class called Race, Power, Resistance. It's like a sophomore class. Um, it's a seminar type class too. And basically um, this section of the class is gonna be about the US-Mexico border. By the way, all of these classes like fulfill requirements, whether it's general education or like my major. And then at 4.20, to 550 i have the christian experience i go to a catholic school i actually go to the largest catholic school in the united states we have to take religious classes but only like two so i'm gonna be on campus until i'm guessing around nine o'clock because i want to go to the gym and then i want to eat dinner or i'm gonna eat dinner first and then go to the gym so i am going to pack for that this is my backpack that i use throughout the school year so i just put my laptop in here i don't have any books a uh, pencil case i also have my little bullet journal i have blue light glasses which i might wear as real glasses so that i can add some suspense let's get some gym wear we're gonna go with nike pros today i thrifted these for 12 dollars at home so we're gonna wear this sports bra that i got from my cousin and then for shirt the black student union so for this fanny pack I'm gonna just pack my essentials. So pepper spray is a must. Um, hand sanitizer, lotion from the hotel because I get ashy a lot. Put that around my waist. Why is it so hot? Okay. Last but not least, we're gonna spray Burberry perfume. I only wear it for special occasions. I like don't put on perfume in like a conventional way. I really don't care. Guys, I was literally about to go out with this head wrap on. I'm about to eat real quick, like real quick. Actually, that's even if my, I can't. So I put this yogurt in the freezer yesterday because it was like just not, yep, it did not. Okay, so I'm not eating breakfast today. But you know what? That means I can go to Starbucks right away now and just get myself a drink. So maybe it all just worked out. I just don't have time to make like any other breakfast option. Like I need to go.
He's been sitting at this desk for years and years. Hey guys, so I'm on campus. Duh. I finished class like 20 minutes ago and right now I'm on the quad and they're having all of these first day like festivities that we did not have last year. But that's okay because it's still really nice and I'm still early on in college so I don't really care, it's sophomore year. So they have like iced coffee, tea, and donuts. I got this apple fritter. I've never tried it before, but I'm gonna try it now. It's actually really good. I have class in like 10 minutes, but because I didn't get to eat breakfast, it was great to be able to get free food. Like I was on my way to Starbucks and then I just saw everybody like getting donuts and coffee and I was like, shit, like, why not? So my next class is my US-Mexico border class. My first class, as you guys saw, was online. So I was able to take it from my phone and wait until I tell you all this story about what happened today. Cause I'm still mad. I'm actually not mad anymore, but I just need to tell you guys because I was really upset in the moment. But I'll tell y'all tell y'all when I get back home. For now I'm gonna just eat and enjoy the weather. Alright vlog, so it's been a while. Actually no, it was only like an hour. But now I am at the train station waiting for the train to come. I have a job interview at Blaze Pizza. So I have to go back towards the loop, which is where I live. And then I have to come back here by 420 for my Christian experience class. So that's a lot. I have to take the brown line instead of the red. So it is gonna take a little long, but the interview is at three, I'm pretty sure. And it lasts until 3.30. And then I'll have amount, a good amount of time to get back to campus by 420. The ride is only like, the trip itself is only like 30 minutes i think not even and it's a little after two right now so i'll get there a little early but yeah this is the fit in action i've seen some friends from last year actually i only saw one person from last year so far and then some people that i don't really talk to but it's okay and i've already made like a friend in class um i just got out of my border class my u.s mexico border class and i got this girl's instagram because i don't know anybody in that class so i just want to know um at least one person so that i can ask them questions and i can have a class friend ah the train i love the train oh my god I have no idea as to the outcome, but I've done all I can. I ended the interview a bit early, and now I'm heading straight back to campus. Well, not straight, because I'm about to go... I'm about to go get Starbucks, so not straight, but I'm going back in that direction because I have class in an hour. Hey guys, so I have these two fat pimples on my forehead and I'm about to lose my shit. But right now I'm in the student center. I literally haven't been here in three months, but that three months feels like three years. So it's good to be back with my friend Anne right now, but she's in the bathroom. And we are getting some food before we go to the soccer field and attend this like back to school event. I don't know. It's supposed to be pretty big. So that's why we're gonna go. I actually don't care if anybody sees me vlog. I don't even know like most of the people now anymore, so I don't care, but still. And I need these pimples to go. Please go. Thank you. 
Thank you. First off, let's give a round of applause to both Olivia and Darius for their Can not hear him. Woo! I don't even know what he said. Why would you get the soccer team to throw shirts? Okay, let's vlog. Okay, let's try. We are. Oh. Okay, guys. So, we're leaving the stadium. Stadium, quote unquote, isn't even the a stadium. Field. The field. We're leaving. It's like almost nine o'clock. It's like eight forty something. I think we left at the time that we wanted to. Mm -hmm. Good for us. But yeah, I'm about to go to get my stuff that I stored um, last year or over the summer. It wasn't even last year. But I was telling y'all in my last video about how I still had stuff in storage. But now I'm about to go get it. I had a lot of plans for today, like going to the gym in Lincoln Park. But that's just not happening because it is a bit late. I think I'm going to go work out in my apartment complex's gym. So that's fine. Anna literally waited like six years. <laughs> in this cheese what is it like cheesies it's called cheesies yeah yeah like this like cheese stand because our school brought food trucks and she got grilled cheese and a tater tot it's i got tacos oh it is oh that's too much cheese for me i got two tacos two steak tacos they were so good okay guys so it's like almost 11 p.m and i just got back like 15 minutes ago I was on campus for a while and I ended up getting my stuff back from the girl. So I still have to replace some things that I thought were in storage like pillowcases and a shower caddy. But other than that, I have basically everything that I needed from last year. Right now I'm putting on this little watch that I got. I was meant to tell you guys what exactly I'm doing with Northwestern. Well, I'm a part of this like thing that's a really long story. I feel like I'll talk about it at some point. Like, just remind me. But basically, I'm part of this study and they need to monitor like how much I sleep, um, what I eat in a day. Only for like a little bit though. Like it's gonna be like a week, so it's not that long. But also like my body movement. And so I wear this ugly thing all day, every day, except for when I'm showering. I have to take it off. So I put it back on. Basically, let me tell you guys how my day went today. I would give the first day of sophomore year a 7 out of 10. The day started off pretty well. I mean, I was vlogging and I was getting really good clips. And then when it was time for me to leave, I went to the train station and I don't have a U pass, which is like the train card yet. So I've been having to pay out of pocket. And it's like $5 for a single day pass which means you can travel all throughout the city with that pass for one day. My card was not being received and the train was about to come in like two seconds. So I hopped, I hopped the train in Chicago like two or three times before, no problem. My bad, I thought that in Chicago you could hop the train peacefully. This lady basically made me go all the way back and then she was trying to get my card to work and she was telling me about how she was telling me about how the police, um, the CPD, they can arrest me. It's stealing. It's like stealing. I'm like, girl, a one-way ride on the train is like $2. Come on. And I'm sitting here like, I feel like CPD has a lot more to worry about than a student who clearly is a student. I was wearing a backpack and everything. They have a lot more to worry about than me hopping the train. But she just kept going on and on. And then I checked on my phone and I was like, yeah, the train left. So I was like, okay, well, I'm late now, so I don't know what to do. And she was like, you need to stop having a temper, this, this, that. I'm trying to help you. I'm like, ma'am, I'm sorry, but like, I have to go. I would have been late for my Zoom call regardless if I kept listening to her. And she tried to accuse me of having a temper after she was yelling at me. I was just like, you know what, ma'am, I'm going to excuse myself. And I just was like, I'm going to go to another station. Maybe my card will work. I ended up calling my mom and she thankfully got me an Uber, but like 
I didn't have to take an Uber. You know, I didn't have to do that. But she just, oh, that lady pissed me off so bad. Y'all don't even know. Because, like, I just feel like people will pick on those who they know aren't that big of a threat. Like, if it was some crackhead acting up on the train, she probably wouldn't have said anything. But because she knows it's like me and I'm a student and I'm obviously like not a threat, she feels like she can, you know, come and start talking to me. However, you know what, good for her. I hope that she gets a raise for all of that work that she's doing to keep the CTA safe and make sure people are not stealing from the city of Chicago. I hope that $2 that I did not happen to steal, that $2 goes towards something good. I my meal plan. So in the apartment building that I live in, which is like school housing, it's only for students, um, but it's still like an apartment complex. I, there is a cafe and you can eat there if you have a meal plan. I have been trying to eat there since I got here on September 3rd and they've been saying that nothing is showing up. So I assumed, oh, well, maybe my meal plan isn't with this building. Maybe it's actually at school. So, I went to school today, and I still don't have a meal plan. I don't even have, like, flex dollars. <laughs> My plan was to eat at school on the days that I have class. I was going to eat, like, lunch and dinner. Yeah. I don't have that choice. I'm going to fix that, but other than that, honestly, first day of school was good. I saw quite some familiar faces um people i am cool with people i'm not cool with good to see y'all both wish y'all the best year because i don't got no hate in my heart but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe plus turn on post notifications to be notified each time i post a new video trying to be more consistent uh this school year and this month and not go on anxiety inducing breaks but yeah thank you guys so much for supporting me follow my social medias to keep up with me and i'll see you guys in my next video